all with the covid-19 outbreak the most awaited topic of the season is back to school but from home some schools have come forward to teach online whilst the government is unwilling to continue this for young children live classes or video sessions children parents and teachers are heavily affected by this drastic change so amidst these circumstances I have come up with some tips and tricks to homeschool children from different age groups. So this video is for all those who fall into this category. There are different activities in this clip. There are the lawn mowing, watering, trimming branches, etc. Each activity needs different tools and techniques. Similarly, to homeschool, you need to apply the right combination of tools and with the right technique that suits your child. you can surely master it let us cover the following topics in this video online coaching how to do the positives and the negatives the takeaway and the road ahead is online coaching going to be our future online coaching to do or not do while some people are arguing that online coaching should be done some are arguing against it but don't we all agree that children are spending some time on the screen whether for study purpose or otherwise so why not use it wisely education delayed is education denied so as parents it becomes our responsibility to not hinder the development of the child the earlier we accept this fact the better so what is our aim When we are traveling we make sure we know the source and destination beforehand the same rule applies to online coaching in teaching kids online we should be clear of two things our mission and our vision mission to identify various areas of development of the child maybe he wants to learn a new language maybe she wants to play a new musical instrument it can be anything because here we are looking for the overall development of a child make a checklist depending upon all the areas of interest and consider the feasibility prioritize the checklist in an order we have our mission ready vision to see our child developed in various spheres we list it listing here a few areas of interest of children just as an example what helps us we are indeed blessed with infinite sources apps like byju's udemy disney byju's for younger ones whitehead junior if the child is inclined towards coding are available at a tap of a screen youtube or youtube kids depending upon the age of the child YouTube is a vast source of tutorials from ballet dance to robotics YouTube has it all school most of the schools are playing their part by apprehending us with information like eight specific teaching materials and tutorials it sets a clear expectation on what can be taught to children books books have always been my best friends call me traditional but the immense pleasure to write from reading them is incomprehensible so don't mind ordering a couple of them to be delivered at your doorstep help the child climb up the dream of learning now comes to the most important part of the talk how to do now we have our goals clearly let us concentrate on how to accomplish them I propose three simple steps. Plan, act, check. Let us go through each of them more closely. Plan. In this, we have three simple steps. Our written plan. The syllabus should be kept ready. Next comes the sources. We have already referred to a lot of sources that might help. Depending upon requirement, choose some of them. to chart out your goal by this stage 
we should have a clear vision of everything in our purview. Act. When all is said, doing is the most important part of the job. We can start teaching. To help children understand better, we can use oral aids like Amazon Audible which reads out to you. This assures the children are just listening with their eyes closed. There are also lessons available in MP3 format online. All you need is to just explore the options. The visual aids make concepts so clear and unforgettable to children. For science experiments, we can try doing the feasible ones with children. For storytelling, we can use finger mukbangs. For making children understand bodily functions also, there are so many sources online. Check. We are also into full-time teaching for the first time. So we need to be doubly sure of the level of understanding of the child. This stage helps us. Oral questions are proven to be the most effective way of knowing from the child. Let the child pose innumerable questions as they usually do. Try answering as many as you can. And for things unknown, Google always comes to our rescue. Tools like worksheets, workbooks, printed and otherwise are available in various sites. Try to download from them or we have an option to prepare one depending upon the level of knowledge imparted to them. Last thing, analyze and see where the gap between teaching and understanding is. Rectify and repeat. Our aim is not to cover the syllabus. It is in making things clear to them. It is absolutely fine if you have to repeat a lesson or two. Have patience as both of you are new to this. You will be a master in no time. You just need to believe in yourself. The positives and negatives. Just like the two sides of a coin, online coaching comes with its own set of advantages and disadvantages. Positives. For the first time ever, we are teaching our children, so we have an increased rapport and connectivity with the child. This is an unforgettable phase for both the parent and the child. We will be able to identify their strengths and weaknesses. This will come in handy at the right moment in the future. The healthiest way of comparison is self-comparison. We will be able to see our child develop and grow each day. This creates realistic, positive and stress-free environment for learning and improving oneself. After diaper duty and potty training, this gives an opportunity in learning new things together with unlimited time at hand. So this I call a blessing in disguise as we have time to spend with them after years. No more running to this class and that. Negatives Increased screen time is the topmost concern for many parents. I totally agree with it. Using audio formats like Audible might help to ease the problem to some extent. We need to explore alternate ways of entertainment so to some extent we may minimize it. To be a part of this process takes an amount of time from the parent. Take help of your partner or any qualified member of the family or technology to reduce the amount of time required. But your time is required and it is for sure. If we start with vocabulary building from an early stage of learning, self-study can be made possible. Of course, under our supervision. Right tools. Though it may take some time in research to find the right tools, it will save time in later iterations. We need to invest additional time and money in this area, but it will aid us greatly. Find ones that best suit your requirement. Children need right environment to study. For this, we may have to prioritize our tasks accordingly and let the learning happen as per their own free will at their own free space. 
the more natural the better it is a fact that children can learn anything in a matter of time provided they are willing to learn we should use this precious time wisely and adjust our calendars accordingly to make the most of it this is like a weakness which can be turned into a strength in a job interview take away this is a long and time consuming process but it will surely result in overall development of the child with great power comes great responsibility as spiderman said so we have a huge responsibility but the upside is we can be our child's superhero it's all that matters the road ahead this is going to be our future it is partly us and partly no for now but if this can be achieved it might become the future it is better to be prepared for this scenario until the vaccine is out there might be more research in this area and online teaching could be the future so mom and dad the future rest with you hope you all had some insights as to what has to be done please mention in comments your suggestions and queries do subscribe to my channel for more updates